sterile lancet then prick from the periphery prick from periphery like this go for deep pricking then add drop of blood to each slide you need to keep a large quantity of blood sample like this can you squeeze your squeeze it is it painful so add one drop of blood like this to each slide okay then take a oh, clean it clean the finger then take a slide okay now this is very important bring the slide backwards okay there are some squeezes here bring the slide backwards let the bread blood spread even once the blood is spread in, go for front see you got a tongue smear then take another slide ensure that the blood is spreading evenly okay then spread front see now we got a tongue shaped smear properly can you see the tongue shaped smear see this is proper tongue shaped smear okay and we will perform again with another blood sample here let it spread evenly now the blood has been already clotted i don't know whether we will get it or not but we'll see let it spread evenly then go friend see since the blood is clotted we got some creases at the end okay so you need to perform it as fast as you can we won't get for this sample also so we got two samples proper uh, tongue smear came in this sample okay so this is how you will get tongue smear okay so these two we will consider and we will proceed for staining so let them dry for uh, two to three minutes then we will go for leishman staining pause it the smear has been dried okay the smear has been dried then keep the smear on a staining rack okay now what you need to do is with the help of a pipette so we are using a modified pasta pipette we kept it tip to a bulb and we are using it so this is leishman stain so take leishman stain okay then stain the slide from the head portion add stain from the head portion like this okay from head portion evenly add the stain like this so evenly add the stain till it is covering the whole slide whole slide should be submerged with the stain so this is it and uh, you can uh, blow air also to mix the smear evenly okay so wait for 2 minutes mix the stain and wait for 2 minutes recording okay so the 2 minutes has been completed so now what we need to do is we need to add distilled water gently from the head portion onwards okay add few drops of distilled water like this and uh, mix it evenly so add few drops of distilled water and let it mix and uh, you can mix the uh, slide by gently agitating the rack so gently start mixing a leishman stain smear so we are we have taken two slides here let me mix the other one also and gently mix them okay pause it now very important step open a smooth uh, you know tap water okay a smooth profile of tap water okay this is smooth profile of tap water now hold the smear from the head portion okay your finger should be here and the water should flow through the finger like this over the slide you should not directly contact the smear rather than you should you know clean the slide along with your finger as a holding agent okay so gently clean the slide under running tap water for 1 to 2 minutes so almost for 1 minute you need to clean the slide like this until the color should be faded away pause it okay so we already washed the slide now it is almost transparent so now we need to allow it to air dry so make ensure that the slide is in uh, drying under normal air so wait for few more minutes until the slide become completely dry
is it continuing the right? okay fine so already the we have performed the smear and we have stained it with uh, leishman and we waited for a uh, air drying so it is already dry now we will observe this under microscope so we will go to the microscope from here so, so, oh, oh, oh. so what i did is i have taken a paper with 100 10 into 10 grit okay so now i have arranged my paper now we need to write the patient details give me one pen students so write the patient name age and sex here so whomsoever sample is it we need to write the patient name then age then uh, sex along with the uh, these details okay hospital administration number etc after labeling your uh, uh, report okay now keep 45 x in the microscope so arrange your 45 x so first i will keep uh, 45 x okay keep 45 x keep your uh, uh, smear properly and we will go for examination in the white blood cells so let me try to focus it So the microscopy has been performed and let us see the neutrophil at the center. Ah oh, yes, at the center can you able to see a cell here? So that is a neutrophil. Not possible. But it's very tough to focus, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a neutrophil. You can see a clear neutrophil at the bottom at 6 o'clock position.